And I want to tell you, those of you who've been doing um, posts to me and comments to me mentioning ADD and ADHD associations with reverse responders, this is your connection. This is for you because that's that glutamate pathway that you have in common. This is that glutamate thing. So what would help them? I would say try and adopt a low glutamate diet. So what is a low glutamate diet? You know, um, for the most part, um, we're going to use um, reducing soy sauce in their diet. We're going to be um, reducing aged cheeses. We're going to take out seaweed, mushrooms, tomato sauce. Um, you know, watch out for flavor enhancers like monosodium glutamate. I know there's a whole controversy about people saying monosodium glutamate one way or another. I'm not going to step into that tonight. I'm just going to say glutamate is glutamate is glutamate. Don't put it in your body if you have this as a, as a possibility. Um, so I'll have a patient take a low glutamate diet for a while along with a quercetin supplement, a lot more flavones and those other flavonoids as I mentioned earlier, these compounds, my goal being slowing down the conversion to pregnenolone sulfate with that process. And then the other one is see if I can reduce the amount of glutamate in the system and see if that helps. That's the the primary steps you're taking. 